Bat Manga is a unique and fascinating chapter in the history of Batman. In the mid-1960s, during the height of Batman's popularity in the United States, the character made his way to Japan. Shonen King, a popular Japanese magazine, began publishing original Batman stories, known as Batmanga, created by artist Jiro Kawata. These stories blended traditional Japanese manga style with Western superhero elements, resulting in a distinct and memorable take on the Dark Knight. Unlike the darker, grittier version of Batman that many fans are familiar with today, Batmanga featured more light-hearted and whimsical adventures, open with a sci-fi twist. Batmanga remained relatively obscure outside of Japan until the late 2000s, when it was rediscovered and reintroduced to Western audiences. In 2008, a compilation of these stories was published, bringing Jiro Kawata's unique interpretation of Batman to a whole new generation of fans. The Batmanga Batman figure captures the essence of this unique period in Batman history, blending the iconic character with a distinctively Japanese art style. Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving back into Gotham, or maybe Japan, with a figure that really caught my eye, the Batmanga Batman. Now, I have to admit, I'm not super familiar with this particular version of Batman, but as soon as I saw those promo pictures, I knew I had to have it. Yes, it's another repaint of the Night Paul body mold, but for a Batman fanatic like me, it's a must-have. So, let's break down this figure, starting with the packaging. First off, it's part of the McPerlin Collector Edition line which is their higher price range line. I have mixed feelings about this since, as I mentioned, it's essentially a repaint of an existing mold already. On the front, we have McPerlin Collector Edition DC Multiverse Batman, prominently displayed with a large clear window that gives us a great view of the figure and all its accessories. The right side of the box says DC Multiverse McPerlin Collector Edition Batman Batmanga number 16. While the left side continues the front window and repeats DC Multiverse Batman number 16. Finally, the back features a stunning Batmanga artwork, complete with the huge Bat logo and the word Batman in Japanese. You'll also spot Robin in the picture, which makes me hope they'll release a Batmanga Robin figure too. Let's get this box open and see what this Batmanga Batman is all about. The figure scales at seven and a quarter inches or eighteen point five centimeters. As previously mentioned, this is a complete reuse of the Batman Nightfall body mold. Now, here it is compared with the black variant version of the Batman Nightfall. And the way I see it, the only difference is, well, obviously the head sculpt and then the bat logo and the utility belt. Everything else is the same and a complete repaint. Let us now go through with the different accessories that he comes with. And guys, you be the judge if these accessories that he comes with validates its pricing in the McPerlane Collector Edition line. So he comes with the standard McParlin art card and art card stand that always comes in this McParlin Collector's Edition line. 
So there's the card. I really wish they make that Robin figure. And then a short biography of the character, the back. Standard McFarlane base or stand with the DC logo. For the collector's edition, it's always in a silver color. Aside from the close piece hands that I had on him now, he comes with four alternate hands, which I guess by now we are already familiar with because this is, I don't know, I don't know how many times uh, the reuse of this Nightfall mold already. A red Batarang. Now, as I said, I'm not familiar with the Batmanga, and aside from this thing that is on the art card, I really don't know much about how it really looks, so I'm not sure if this is actually even comparable to the bat manga it is based from but yeah he did it does come with this red battering this more classic looking or should i say traditional looking grappling hook with an actual thread on it Now, I don't know what this is, but looking at this, my first impression is it's a baton. I know, guys, that you might be getting tired of me saying I don't know what this is, but yeah, I'm not sure what this is also. Maybe it's some kind of I'm thinking that it was a top, but nah, I, I'm not really sure. For you guys who are really more familiar with the Batmanga, can you please leave in the comment what these two weapons actually are? And that's it for the accessories. So guys, as I said, I'll leave it to you if those accessories that it came with makes it worth being in the McFarlane Collector's Edition line. So now let's focus on the figure. I must admit that what actually got me on the promo pictures is the head sculpt of this bat manga. So despite of the fact that I know that it is just a reuse of Nightfall mold and I have no idea, I have completely zero idea what bat manga is, when I saw this head sculpt, specifically that eyebrow on the call, it just gave me an Adam West vibe, and yeah, I'm already sold at that. Second difference is the bat logo, which I'm glad to say is a completely different uh, part and mold. So I guess this is what the bat manga logo looks like. The other thing that pulled my attention, aside from the head sculpt on those promo pictures, is this utility belt. Because when I saw it, my first impression is that's how Cassandra Kane's Batgirl utility belt should look like in order for it to be comic accurate. Anyway, I'm not really a customizer, so yeah, and I don't really customize my figures. And as I said, I actually love this figure, so it's safe to me. It is safe. Don't worry. You are in good hands. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna not gonna use you as you know fodder for customization. The other thing that is different on this figure compared to the other nightfall Batman body mold reuse is the as this. They have this white line 
on the gloves and also on the boots, which is actually done very sharply. So I like I, I like that design. It is very clean. It does look very clean. And I think the white somehow uh, makes the design pop out because it shows a clear divide between the gray and the light gray. And then aside from that, the obvious uh, repaint, wherein they use uh, lighter gray and this uh, matte gray color on the figure, which I think is, if you will look at this, it's not even accurate because in here it's black, but I don't know. I. I, I, it is actually uh, again another of the thing that attracted me to the promo pictures. I love this color on, on this Batman. I love this color that they use. So yeah, for me, this is another version of Batman that I would really like to add to my collection. The, it, it has, I don't know, it has this, um, matte, the matte finish look. And the color, the choice of the color that they use to the figure just gives, I don't know, just gives a really cool vibe to me. I love it. And this is definitely going in my display shelf. As for the articulation, since this is a reuse of the Nightfall uh, remold, there's really no surprise there. Nothing's changed. So I'm just going to do a quick check of the articulation joints. So yeah, that's for the articulation, guys. Overall, I love the retool and recolor that was done in this figure. And it is enough for me to dip on it again. Uh, I know that it is not for everyone. Unless, maybe unless you're a really huge Batman fan like me. Uh, this could be just an easy pass, especially with the fact that they release it in the McFarlane Collector Edition line. Yeah, uh, I, I do agree that that's that's a little poor decision for me, for McFarlane. Since this has been a reuse of a mold that is already existing, I really thought that this will be just a normal release. And just for my own opinion, I do also think that the accessories that was given to it and the amount of repaint that was done to it, I don't think it is enough to put it in the McFarlane collector's line. But yeah, guys, you know that I'm one of those people who waste the completionist when it comes to Batman. And yeah, for me, it is a must, but I know that Overall, it is an easy pass. So if you if you reach this part of my video, thanks a lot for the support. And again, guys, if you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, enjoy life and keep collecting.